Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Sony WH-1000XM3s, which I will be referring to as the XM3s from now on, and I probably should have taken it out before I started filming, but uh, let's get into the box and see what we're dealing with, all right? So guys, as you can see here, uh, let's take a look at the box and the headlining features. Uh, so it boasts Google Assistant, no Siri, unfortunately, if you're on iPhone, you're not going to have access to uh, the shortcut button that is on the left cup to activate Siri. That can only be used for uh, changing the presets of active noise cancellation, which is right here. That is the most important feature of this headphone. It's got active noise cancellation. 30 hours of battery life. I would probably say it's accurate. I mean, I can't really measure it because as far as I know, I've never really had to worry about charging this headphone. It takes at least two weeks for me to even bother trying to charge this headphone, even for like 20 minutes, which would be enough for the next two weeks or the next week if I want to be a little bit more realistic. So uh, this is the front and on the back, oh, there is high res audio, which I don't really know what it means. I mean, you can, I remember that my HTC 10 earbuds had high res audio on them, but they didn't really sound that different. So, I mean, take some of these name droppings with a grain of salt, which you probably should because like on the back, we have a lot of them. We have Aptex HD. Um, I don't know how much of a difference does that, that, that makes really. Uh, digital, whatever this is, it's probably noise canceling, but then what is the active noise canceling? LDAC. DCHX, I don't really know how much of a difference they make uh, if these names or these licenses weren't here. But the end result, of course, matters and we're going to get to that. But of course, it also has NFC, which is great. Uh, sometimes you just, you know, for some reason, the headphone isn't really paired to the phone anymore. So now you just use the, uh, the back of your device or sometimes the front, depending on which device you have to pair it again with your phone. And then on the right, we have a bunch of different uh, features here. So um, HD voice when you're calling. Now I'm gonna get to the microphone quality, but uh, well, let's just say it's not amazing, right? Quick charging, 10 minute charge with the USB-C cable gives you five hours of playtime, 30 hours of battery, we already talked about that. And uh, compatible with Google Assistant, as we talk about, unfortunately not compatible with Siri. Uh, it's got a headphone input and uh, these, I don't know, uh, in-flight adapters that who knows who's using. Uh, it's got a USB Type-C cable and a carrying case. All right, so without any further ado, let's just get into the headphone box. And of course, I've opened this already, uh, but this is pretty much the same experience you can be expecting from your unit. Uh, it's got a bunch of paperwork which I don't know who reads uh, but it's there it's there that's pretty much it now let's get into the box itself let me put this aside that didn't go in uh, but this is what you can expect from the box so it's a really nice hard carrying case with a bronze uh, zipper which uh, really does look nice. So this is what you are greeted with when you open the hard case. So uh, the, uh, the headphone itself is pretty compact, uh, of course, courtesy to these flipping, rotating, swiveling mechanism that the cups have, uh, which is nice. And they also have a little bit of freedom in terms of the x-axis, if you consider this to be the y-axis. Uh, but we're going to talk about the headphones in a little bit. You also have this little adapter, which is pretty difficult to get out. So I won't because who cares? You got your uh, a really nice uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone cable. Uh, it's sturdy. The connection seems fairly well made. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice cable, which you can use anywhere. And then this uh, pretty short but high quality USB-C cable for charging the device. All right, now uh, let's get all of these out of the way and talk about the actual headphones themselves because that's what you're here for. 
So the headphones themselves, let's talk about the design a little bit. Uh, as you can see here, there's, there are these, you know, bronze accents all around. Well, not all around, I mean, there's just a couple of them here and there. But they definitely do add some, you know, nice looking uh, aesthetics to the, uh, to the headphones themselves. So uh, other than that, it's pretty low profile. I mean, other than the size, the design is pretty low profile. It's got a matte black finish. There's also a couple of other options, uh, uh, but this is like pretty stealthy. You, know, you see this NFC logo on the left side. And these, uh, at first when I was watching the videos, I thought these were like, I don't know, like USB-C inputs, but it is not, or they are not. They are the microphones that help the active noise cancellation. So, I mean, of course, uh, for active noise cancellation, uh, the headphones need microphones to hear the outside noise and sort of remedy the outside noise by uh, basically emitting the same frequencies just in the opposite direction for you to not hear them. Right? And this is what helps them do that. Also, it works for the uh, noise cancellation in, in, in voice calls. Uh, this also uh, is the microphone to pick up your voice. Uh, but these others are for the active noise cancellation and the noise cancellation in audio calls. So uh, then you have the I.O., which is, I mean, I.O. is uh, pretty much of a stretch. But uh, you got your headphone inputs and on the other side, you have your USB-C input and a little charging indicator, which is nice. Um, but I found this to be quite bright when I'm trying to sleep and uh, I have this charge plugged in to charge overnight, which you won't be doing so much. So um, whatever, who cares? And then you got your buttons. So the power on button and uh, the noise canceling slash Google Assistant button. Now, even when I was using Android, uh, I didn't really like to use Google Assistant. I don't know, but Google Assistant for me was always kind of inconsistent. It had always connection problems and whatnot. So I just changed it to uh, switch between the different uh, noise cancellation uh, presets. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it in terms of uh, buttons and I.O. But the real kicker is on this side of the headphone. This is where you have your touch controls. And it actually does feel really nice to the touch. So uh, a swipe up or down increases the volume or lowers it. A swipe back and forth switches the tracks. And a double tap is uh, answering calls and pausing the music. Also, the real killer feature here is cupping the cup with your right hand. Tr turns on transparency mode, which pretty much uses these microphones that I told you about earlier and amplifies the outside. Well, it doesn't really amplify it per se, but uh, it's like a pass-through mode you will see on the AirPods Pro. So. You can hear your surroundings much better, maybe even a little bit better than if you weren't wearing the headphones because it, it seems, it feels kind of higher quality than like actual audio without the headphones. It's weird, but there is one thing uh, to definitely keep in mind. Uh, these don't really work that great if you're, I don't know, trying to like cross the street and you uh, put your hands on them because it does mess up with your sense of spatial awareness. Right? It's not quite 360 audio. You just have your left and right, but you don't really get the 360 degrees feeling which you will get if you just take the headphones off. So I wouldn't recommend it if you want to like pause your music momentarily when you're crossing the street because it does mess up with your sense of spatial awareness. So just take them off or like take one cup off if you want to cross the street. It's not safe to do this when you're trying to cross the street. Anyways, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's a really neat feature. However, there is this issue that it does take a second for it to register your, uh, your hand on it. So if you really are trying to listen to someone like immediately, it's not super great for it. Sometimes it's just easier or not more convenient, but it's better to just take one of the cups off and uh, just listen to the person directly with your ear and not really with this transparency mode. But it's a cool feature to have and sometimes it is useful. But this one second delay really does limit the functionality of this great feature that the AirPods, well, some would say copied. So 
Uh, that's pretty much the things that you can do with uh, the touch controls. And now in terms of the comfort itself, I mean the headphones, uh, you know, you can have a pretty big head and they would still cover it entirely. And also you have these extension on both cups. Uh, they're metal, they're very solidly built. So uh, it feels really nice to, t to the touch, but I mean, you're not gonna be touching them so much. So uh, you can have a very big head and it would still fit you because it's pretty flexible. And also the extension range is quite a lot. So no worries there. And the uh, leather uh, foam on the top of your head is really plush. It feels really fluffy and very soft. Also the same thing with the ear cups. They are, they are very soft touch and they're, uh, they're very soft foam and uh, they will be feeling very comfortable on your ears. So no worries in terms of comfort here. You can listen to music for hours and hours without really feeling any sort of discomfort. It's very soft. It doesn't really add too much pressure on your head. And uh, yeah, just overall a very comfortable uh, listening experience. Now, I would say, uh, as a person who wears glasses, they're not the best. I mean, uh, they're pretty comfortable for like two hours, but after that, they do start to add a little pressure to your ears. Uh, all in all though, I would say they are very, very comfortable. And of course, they fold to fit in uh, the carrying pouch, which is quite nice. Uh, you can also, f if you don't carry the carrying pouch with you, you can also fold it like this and put it in a backpack. It'll probably be fine, but I would advise carrying the carrying pouch. That's why it's called a carrying pouch uh, for some added protection because of course this is not really protected. I mean, something could tear if it's in your bag, if you have a lot of stuff in your bag. So I would recommend the uh, carrying pouch because it does make it slimmer. Right? Because this, when you put it in your bag, it's going to be especially uh, prone to like scratches and damage because like the ear cups are exposed. But when you do this, then it's going to become like relatively, if I could get this to fold, okay, it's the other way. Uh, it's relatively thick, right? But when you do it like this, it is much more slim. So the carrying pouch isn't that big when you consider the thickness that the ear cups add if you just use them without the carrying pouch. So there is that. Uh, and of course, it's a nice place to store your cables. Uh, even if you want to just have this USB-C cable as a smartphone charger cable. So it does offer that as well. So let's get into the app and see what we're dealing with here. So uh, this is where you'll be spending most of your time because this is where most of the features are. So uh, the main feature here is the equalizer, which works really well. You can fine tune every uh, frequency level to your liking and there's also a boost uh, a base boost slider too which never really sounds muddy so that's good uh, so the equalizer works really well there are also some presets but I went for a custom equalizer uh, and uh, based on the genre I sometimes change it a little bit so um, that's the equalizer and now you also have this uh, feature called ambient sound control which basically uh, decides what you're doing and change the noise canceling levels according to that. So if you're, for example, walking and it detects that you're walking, uh, it also uses location system uh, to recognize that too. But if it realizes that you're walking, it's gonna, it's gonna turn down the uh, noise canceling a little bit so that you'll be more aware of your surroundings. But if it detects that you're sitting down or you're on the bus or you're at your house, it's kind of uh, cranks the noise canceling back up. But I just kind of leave it off uh, most of the time because I don't really trust it. So, uh, it's, it's, it's a little finicky sometimes, so it gets what I'm doing a little wrong sometimes. So I just use the button to change the presets of the noise cancellation. But uh, that's pretty much it for the main features of the app. There's also like a bunch of other things like surround sound or I don't know, sound position control. Uh, but I never really use them much. They're not really important. There's also the ability to fine tune how much noise canceling you want. So as I'm turning the slider in and out, I can definitely hear my voice more and less. It's kind of weird actually, uh, but it works really well. Uh, so these are the features that you can expect from the app. Now let's uh, wrap up the video with some final thoughts. So with that said, uh, I would absolutely recommend 
purchasing the XM3s even right now that there's a lot of rumors about the XM4s because I really can't think it's going to get much better than this. I mean, like seriously, what are they going to add? The audio quality is top notch. Uh, the, the features are like all there. You've got NFC, you've got touch controls and the, uh, you know, ghost, the phantom touches. Uh, that a lot of people were reporting issues on in cold weather are now fixed because you can just disable uh, the touch controls uh, in the uh, in the application. So, so the one issue that some people reported is now fixed. Uh, the battery life is great. I can't really ask for a better battery life. Uh, the comfort is great. The design is really good. So, I wouldn't really think you would be missing out on much if the XM4s are right around the corner, which I don't think they're going to be coming out that soon. So if you are in the market for a great pair of Bluetooth noise cancelling headphones, you cannot go wrong with the XM3s. So definitely should be on your short list if you're in the market for a Bluetooth noise cancelling headphone. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys for sticking around and hope to see you in the next video. Peace.